Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. Once again we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil and uh, yeah guys those of you who've been following me we've been killing it as you see week in and week out. Uh, so uh, I hope you guys enjoying these videos and if you do please 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 do not forget to hit the like button, put a comment that will help the video a lot and um, yeah guys you will have the time to do that while i roll the intro and disclaimer see you there so welcome back guys uh, a quick look at the calendar and as you see today i have uh, the uh, high impact event the red ones and the medium impact uh, event the orange ones and the main reason for that uh, because uh, seems like uh, forex factory um, have downed some major event to uh, um, medium um, impact event um, nowadays uh, because uh, for example the manufacturing pmi from eu used to be red um, the services pmi from the sterling used to be a red that event um so uh, that's why i changed that we have the flash manufacturing pmi from the us used to be a high impact event now it's an orange one um uh, final gdp and all that so uh guys a lots of event even though uh, they looks like uh, they are medium impact event i think you really need to keep an eye on those uh, event uh, especially on wednesday for new zealand we have the official cash rate uh, and the uh, rbnz rate statement uh, to to watch uh, if we start on the um, uh, dixie as usual uh, and we take a quick look on the weekly time frame uh, what been expected last week just happened and uh, we've got this uh, nice um, uh, pin bar with a weekly close above the high so this is usually a reversal pattern and it is happening at a key structure area if we look left here this level is pretty important level monthly as to uh, as well 200 moving average on the weekly at that level so it is a pretty important uh, area and it seems like we may get that correction that i've been, I've been talking about all the way up back toward a retest of that area up here go down to the daily time frame we see that we had a nice abc uh, D move with a break above previous high so we do have now our initial higher low initial uh, high here and we have a break above this previous high which um, could signal a continuation or um, what I'm looking for at least a retest to the 200 moving average or uh, a retest of these levels up here okay so um, uh, I'm looking for a possible uh, continuation uh, bullish continuation on the dollar uh, for next week as well and um, yeah I'm still uh, short your USD for now we will talk about that later uh, uh, oil <coughs> looks like we may see uh, some kind of a breakout to the upside but still it is not happening uh, on the daily time frame it looks uh, pretty boring around here the, the price is stuck in this area but if we go down to a lower time frame we see more structure um, let me check this yeah we had this uh, trade last week in our trading room where we were talking about uh, previous high to be a sell level and that exactly what happened a um, touch to that uh, previous high and then a push all the way down and then another bounce higher so uh, pretty nice quick trade uh, here and uh, the question is uh, what will happen uh, now so uh, I'm watching the four hour time frame mostly on this one actually and I'm looking for um, two levels um, on this uh, chart first off is uh, this uh, this low from last week the second uh, thing we should be doing is now at this uh, trend line because uh, the market seems to be uh, bouncing on this level here one uh, two and uh, i'm looking for a possibility if we're gonna see another bounce and continuation to the upside toward that uh, 4350 area um, that is a one possibility the second possibility is if we 
see a break below that trend line to look for another retest to this bottom here this is a probably in the new range that we're gonna have on oil if that would be the case as you see this little range here so that is what I'm uh, looking uh, for on um, oil if it breaks higher we may uh, see uh, a quick move toward 4250 or the 200 moving average on the daily time frame gold still <laughs> looking still looks like we have a possible bullish move i still think uh, 1800 uh, is still uh, a possible level that gold may reach uh, if you look on the weekly time frame you see that we, we were still in a, a bullish structure with uh, higher highs higher lows and uh, still building up something around here around this area this range here looks like a build up for a possible breakout toward the 1800 so i still think that 1800 is possible looking on the daily time frame after a retest now we can rid, get rid of this here actually and uh, we don't need that as well uh, so after <coughs> after this retest to these previous low we had a very strong and nice push here another uh, correction and probably a continuation now as you see a little bit of a flag and uh, we've got that daily push uh, to the upside on uh, friday uh, that did stop uh, at the top of the range and this still the top of the range is the key resistance so as far as this is not broken we probably could see uh, another rotation back down toward these lows uh, mostly okay so if that will happen uh, you should probably look for a possible bounce from that level next week or if we see a breakout happening above this previous highs i'm looking for a retest and continuation toward the 1800 as i said euro usd um, expecting uh, bearish next week um, looking on the daily time frame we uh, do have now a, um, a bearish structure that started here with a swing low a lower high and a break below previous low so we have our uh, initial lower high we have a break below structure and uh, if we uh, look left there is not much on the way to stop this market uh, there is this level here uh, it may act a little bit of a support but i think uh, we may see a move all the way down toward monthly pivot point and this uh, previously broken structure and the 200 moving average before probably a bounce to the upside from that area so short term i'm expecting a continuation to the downside and if we measure this move as a fibonacci uh, retracement we see that that 618 monthly pivot point 200 moving average and this whole previous structure happen to be at that level so this area here gonna be a pretty important level for the bulls to defend i don't think the bulls uh, will try to defend here there's as i said there is no structure no nothing on the way and um, yeah i'm still holding shorts here um one short from this level another one from this level and um, as you see here in our trading room we're looking for this scenario break retest and continuation we've got uh, last week we've got another break retest and continuation and i'm looking for this to continue lower so uh, as far as this market keep making lower lows lower highs we keep selling rallies any retest back toward monthly r1 if it will do that before any continuation we are looking for a possible short from this area sterling usd same scenario started a bullish move now after a retest of this uh, major structure here we've got a push to the downside i'm not seeing much of support unless we reach this low down here on the weekly time frame closed the, the week at the lows as you see and on the daily we we do also have a struck a bearish structure that started the price went back below the 200 moving average back below monthly r1 and back below 1.26 which, which was a key structure level so as i said um, a lower high here uh, we do have a lower low that got broken as well nothing on the way looking left until we reach uh, this uh, support down here so i'm expecting continuation to the downside on the sterling and uh, as far as we are keep getting impulse correction sell those correction any flag like this something like that that happens 
you need to look for um, uh, probably to sell it yeah um, if this market will correct higher I would say another retest towards this structure would be a good sell level if we got a, 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 reta, um, um, a higher retest here this area gonna be an interesting level but as for now I'm looking for a um, short-term correction small ones as we had here uh, something like this uh, small flags to happen if they um, happen here we're looking to sell this uh, market okay um, USD Jappy um, a little bit uh, of a boring market at the moment uh, been trading around here but now after this very strong impulse we had a little bit of a correction and another push lower so this support here is still holding but if it breaks we're going for a retest of 106 oh so uh, 106 gonna be a possible um, market objective to test now after the break below this structure still there is no break below this low here uh, and um, this might uh, get defended next week so watch that as well but if this structure will be uh, a broken structure you look for a retest and a continuation toward 106, uh, 106 yeah this is what i'm uh, looking for uh, if uh, the break would happen uh, the bullish scenario would be that we uh, have a possible double bottom but we may wait for a um, strong push higher it need to break above this high to really be a, bit, a bullish move a strong one but uh, since we have this very strong impulse and uh, still have a lower high here that's why I'm looking more likely for a downside on this market since the stock market also seems to be ready for possible push to the downside. Uh, we don't talk uh, indices uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, indices we do all, all the indices that we do we do that in our trading room. And uh, again, guys, if you're interested to join uh, the trading in chat room, um, go to my site. The link is uh, down below uh, in the description and uh, you will have uh, 14 days trial for one dollar only for those of you who want to take their trading to the next level you have the courses that you can choose from also um, a great price is going on right now check that as well so let's keep moving usd chief um, this market uh, could reverse a little bit more to the upside if we look on the weekly time frame on this market here we see that uh, the market did push all the way down here to this uh, last line of defense look how many times this market was this level was tested here with a great bounce from it uh, it did dip deep in it to then get pushed back up as you see here and on the daily time frame uh, we see it clearly a morning star formation happened with a close above the high of this uh, hammer so um, I'm looking for possible continuation here, especially uh, you look on it on the one hour time frame. You have your impulse, you're having your correction and a possible build out uh, for a breakout since the lows are getting higher. So I'm looking for a possible breakout here and continuation to the upside, at least toward the 200 moving average on the four hour. We will see where this 200 gonna be when and if the breakout happens. So I'm mostly interested uh, here short term for another uh, push to the upside toward this level to then probably start looking for bearish evidence. Yeah, but early next week, I think we may see a break to the upside. USD CAD looking for the same scenario. We do have a um, great bounce to the upside from this uh, previously very important structure. It filled the gap as well. The price is back above the 200 moving average after this uh, strong push to the upside. And if we look on the four hour time frame, after this double bottom with a spike below it we had this very strong impulse we are looking at a possible correction with a build out for a breakout the same here the same pattern as usd chief you have higher lows coming and equal highs that most of the time means probably a build up for a possible breakout and uh, maybe a rotation back up toward these levels or at least toward uh, these highs here so uh, also that's what i'm looking for on this market for uh, early next week that we might see a break out of the range if that would be the case i'm looking for a retest and continuation to the upside 
Aussie USD um, expecting a bearish move after this uh, lower high on the daily after a break below structure. Now we do have a first lower high still there is some support down here but if we go to lower time frames we see that uh, after this uh, double top with a spike above a previous high stop loss hunt maybe we've got the break below the neckline we've got another double bottom that failed to make a new high and uh, the uh, move to the downside started again so I'm looking for a break and continuation at least toward this level early next week on this market. So keep an eye on this. If uh, keep going like that, look for a retest and continuation toward uh, this broken structure. This is what I'm uh, watching on um, on this market for uh, next week. Same thing as for New Zealand USD. On the daily time frame, we've got um, after uh, this uh, break below structure, a lower high and possible continuation. The price was at the extreme overbought and now uh, the RSI is, RSI is also pushing lower. So I'm looking for at least a retest of the 200 moving average or toward this area down here. Look left. We see that this level is um, a pretty interesting level as a possible uh, profit taking area. So uh, lower time frame on this one looks this exactly the same as uh, Aussie USD. Um, any break below this structure could signal a continuation move. Keep in mind that you do have a uh, news, uh, major news event for New Zealand on uh, Wednesday. So um, <coughs> you don't get stuck in some spikes. Okay, so um, go down to a lower time frame and wait for that uh, break now the price is uh, trading nicely below the 200 moving average on the one hour as you see and rotating lower highs all the way and uh, seems like we are building pressure for that breakout if that would be the case i'm looking for a retest and a continuation all all the way down here uh, that would be uh, great if that will happen so uh, yeah guys that was it for the youtube version of these videos Thanks a lot. As I said, check our um, uh, homepage, uh, the site, and um, check uh, both uh, the courses if you were uh, interested of that, or check the trial of the trading room as well. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye bye.